Hey what is it guys, my name is Eric and welcome to an After Effects tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a coasting effect. I personally use these for inspect animations for when I'm trading. Uh, I have a whole album for full of those, uh, link for that in the description if you want to check it out. But you don't have to use these, f and there's a dog in the background, nice. F uh, yeah, so you can use this effect on basically any type of footage you want, um, as long as it has a green screen. I must say that um, if you don't have a, f a green screen footage, it's going to be hard to uh, separate the subject from the background. Um, I have a tutorial on roto brushing uh, that might help you, so check the description for a link for that. Uh, but anyways, I will include this whole project um, so you can mess around with it yourself. It's really easy to use. You can replace the animation here by right clicking on it and replace footage. Uh, just that, like replace it with a green screen file much like these ones here and with the background you just replace it with a background image or footage it already has a blur on it you can remove it you can adjust it as you wish uh, also with this project it's it's been set up so that if you change this here it will change this one here Let's see so it can make the um, knife disappear or whatever but it will also affect this here it will change the cost effect itself uh, which you can adjust the uh, opacity and the tr transition effect here so just do that when you're using my project farm uh, but yeah anyways if you want to do set it up yourself for whatever use you have for it uh, just make a new composition or a project uh, drop in your background drop in your green screen uh, you can separate the green screen of the uh, whatever color the green screen will be it's not always green it can be blue, it can be red, whatever. Uh, if you want to separate the um, background color from the main subject, for me, for my case, it's the hand and the knife. Just drop in key light and select the screen color by using this pipette tool. And just you should be set. Uh, from there on, you're going to want to duplicate the animation layer by pressing Ctrl D on it, and selecting it, and pressing Ctrl D. Uh, turn that into a new uh, composition by pre-composing it. Uh, from there on, you're going to want to open it up and select the animation layer and you're going to want to search for um, find edges. I have a uh, plugin for that from Video Copilot that I just used by pressing Control space. It basically opens up the search bar, um, but you, you don't need that, you can just go into effects and presets and type in find edges and drag and drop it onto the animation layer. From there on in the find, find edges uh, options you're going to want to make sure it's set to inverted. From there you're going to want to search for tint. As I said you can just do it from here. I will have a, a link for the plugin that I'm using to for the search bar here this thing. Uh, in the description so you're gonna use it for use it yourself it's free don't worry uh, and it's quite useful uh, after you have find edges and tint on the animation layer you're going to want to add levels so search for levels and uh, input black you're going to want to set it to around 50 and you should be done with it now go back to your main um, composition as you can see everything is black now and th that's completely fine uh, all you have to do now is set up a new composition by selecting the animation comp 1 or whatever it is called for you. Uh, press pre-compose, leave all attributes, that's all good. Now you have a animation comp 1. From here on what you want to do is create duplicates of this very same layer uh, by pressing ctrl D. Do this as many times as you want. This is going to basically each, each of these will basically be a layer of this coast here as you can see each one of these is one layer so basically make as many duplicates as many layers you wish to have coasted my explanation might not be that un like easy to understand but trust me that that's kind of what it is um, but yeah um, so if you have like five of these uh, just move each one over by one frame from the one previous to it or the one in front of it so you basically have like steps here each one of these is separate from each other by one frame so it's going to like trail behind and uh, from here on you're just going to want to set the opacities 
from around 50 for the first one and keep going down by around 10 percent you can adjust the exact like percentages that you want or like uh, yourself that's not like that's up to you basically and going to go down 10 percent on this one and let's see how will that work uh, once you're done with all of that you can go back to your main here as you can see it's still kind of black it's not as black as it was before as dark because we've set the passive each one uh, to less than a hundred percent but we still have this darkness here and to get rid of that you're going to want to right click on the animation comp 2 or whatever it's named I keep saying animation comp 2 that's that's because that's what I see but whatever your composition is named with all of these animations or all of these here you want to right click on it go to blending mode and set that to add and da da you should no longer have all that black here just move down the animation that you just created uh, under the main main footage here main subject green screen footage whatever it's called and you should be done you can now adjust the exact like opacity and like the transition of that opacity and whatever else you want in here just like keyframe it to zero to a hundred at one second and then just keep it at 100 and they like around here and then set it to zero till the end and you can preview it and whatever else see everything works you can of course as I said adjust everything for yourself for your own liking you might want to um, set the opacities of the coast trail things to a lot higher or a lot lower you might want to maybe set up like 10 of these in a row so like each like frame is going to be repeated 10 times with the coast effect so that's that, that might be something that you're after uh, but yeah we're basically done with this um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial hope it was helpful to you um, if it was please click the like button down below as it helps me out a lot um, if you have any questions or suggestions for your future videos or whatever then leave those in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next one